Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today we're going to run through this beautiful note card. The note card feature is the Stampin' Up! Artfully Folded stamp set. Artfully Folded is one of the Stampin' Up! Host sets. And Stampin' Up! Host sets are only available for purchase with Stampin' Rewards. Stampin' Rewards are earned on every order over $150, whether it's a demonstrator order, a customer order, just ordering for yourself, or a workshop. Those host rewards can be um, redeemed for a number of gorgeous sets. In the next four videos, we're going to do a host set tour. So today we're featuring Artfully Folded. Artfully Folded can be redeemed from Stampin' Up! 2018-2019 catalog using your Stampin' Rewards. I'm also doing this beautiful card today because I'm featuring the In Color family of inks. So there's 10 colors in the In Color family. The 2018-2020 In Colors, Lovely Lipstick, Grapefruit Grove, Pineapple Punch, Call Me Clover, Blueberry Bushel, and the 2017-2019 In Colors. Those are Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, Powder Pink, Tranquil Tide, and Fresh Fig. Now, why I did this in two different colors, we're gonna work on this one, is to lead in to a little housekeeping. There's a Stampin' Pad family promotion going on with Stampin' Up! in the month of July. It is the absolute best time to get a Stampin' Up! starter kit. So if you've thought about joining the Stampin' Up! family, if you've thought about um, becoming a part of a Kitchen Table Stamper, Kitchenette's Stampin' Up! team, July is the month to do it. It's even, um, better value than the celebration kits. Stampin' Up! is offering the Stampin' Pad Family promotion, which is 10 Stampin' Pads, 10 ink pads, your choice of family, not your choice of ink pads, but your choice of family, uh, added to your Stampin' Up! starter kit absolutely free. Stampin' Up! starter kit is $99. You choose $125 of merchandise, your choice, you get that $125 of merchandise, all your business supplies, catalogs, and free shipping. Shipping is included for the $99, and um, one collection of ink pads of your choice. That's a $200 kit during the month of July only, $200 in product, and you pay $99 plus shipping. So, if you've ever thought about grabbing the Stampin' Up! starter kit, um, July is definitely the time to do it. Your ink pads and your, the um, the collection that you choose will be all the brand new low profile ink pads. These are just Stampin' Up! ink that you've come to love in a better package. I really love that. If you've got any questions about the starter kit or about the kitchenettes, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. All right, so we're gonna make this one with the 2018-2020 in colors. And we're gonna need a few consumables. I've showed you artfully folded. Um, here's our in color stampin' pads. We're gonna use all five of the 2018-20 colors. I've also got Sahara Sand and Memento Tuxedo Black. So those are our tools. Consumables, I've got a Sahara Sand card base here that is eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter. We'll crease that up and get it ready for card base. And then I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock here that is five and a half by two and three quarters. I have a piece of Grapefruit Grove that's three and a quarter by one quarter and a scrap of Whisper White and an inch by an inch or bigger I'll do. It's for this little origami heart. All right, I'm gonna clear away, um, get the ink pads all set up in the Stampin' Pierce mat and we'll get stampin'. Okay, so first I've got Sahara Sand and the um, Tuxedo Black and we're gonna start with the background on the card here. So. Artfully Folded has this gorgeous little floral um, spray. We're going to stamp that across the bottom of the card about halfway off the edge. We're just going to repeat stamp it in a line, getting about half of it 
on the card. Then what I did was came back and adjusted. So I'm far off the edge this time and I'm starting the pattern in a different place. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be pretty no matter what you do. It's just a beautiful tone on tone texture that we're making here. And each one is going to be a little bit different. Then I'm going to take and go across the top, same thing. I'm going to go mostly on. We're hanging off the edge just a little bit. We're going to repeat stamp all the way across the top of the card too. So there's our background. I'll put this one aside and now this larger piece of Whisper White. We're going to stamp all the outlines of our cranes and I started with the biggest paper crane. There's three of them and here's their outlines. And so this one is kind of the biggest. It faces to the left. That has a wing that kind of points down in front. We want to stamp that pretty much centered um, top to bottom and left to right with the wing pointing directly up. We want to watch that it's a nice 90 degree angle to the top of the card. Then we're going to go in with this little bit different one, kind of a side view crane with both wings up. It's facing the other direction, which is kind of nice. And we're going to stamp that one so that the front wing is directly up, like 90 degrees. Then we're going back to our bigger crane, same one we stamped first. Then we're going to make a pattern here across the front. This one can hang down a little bit lower. Now we got our littlest crane. Well, not the littlest in the stamp set. This is kind of the medium sized guy, the littlest one we're using now. And we'll stamp this one higher than the center dude. And we're going to stamp it one more time, hanging a little lower. There it is. Now, well, we've got our tuxedo black. Let's grab our scrap of Grapefruit Grove and be your own kind of beautiful. Ink that up. And we're going to stamp it almost to the far left. So there it is. Now there's a little um, image, it's like a chain or like a beaded string and we're gonna stamp that so that each of these little paper cranes look like, looks like they're hanging. So what we want to do is ink it up with the tuxedo black and go from the tip of the wing that we we're careful to make sure it was 90 degrees so it looks like it's hanging realistically. And we're going to stamp that five times. Okay, last one. And as you can see, I'm being very careful that my strings run nice and straight. And I'm using the edge, this edge of the cardstock, as a guide. So when my string looks like it's nice and parallel, then I go ahead and stamp. All right, now for coloring, and this is a two-step stamp, so I'm going to get all the in colors out, and we'll finish up the cranes. All right, so I've got my warm colors here, Pineapple Punch, Grapefruit Grove, Lovely Lipstick, and I'm going to bring in my sample so you can see what I'm doing, and I'm going to put them in rainbow order, so I'm going to grab my um, largest paper crane, and I'm going to ink up with pineapple punch and looking through the top of the stamp I'm going to line up and color in and we can just stamp off real good because we're going to go to um, the blueberry bushel next. Now our small little crane we're going to go lighter first so we're going to go with our grapefruit grove because then again we can just stamp off in between colors because the next one is lovely lipstick and if we just stamp off all the excess Grapefruit Grove, then we can go straight to Lovely Lipstick without a problem. And then the little side facing crane and our bigger crane. We still need those guys. Let me get Call Me Clover and Blueberry Bushel. 
All right, so the inside of our side facing crane is this Call Me Clover. And I've had a little bit of trouble with this stamp. It's catching ink along the outer edge of the um, polymer. And so it's making it kind of difficult to see. So be careful when you're lining up. Get familiar with your stamp. If it's picking up a lot of ink from the outside edges, um, you'll know that after you stamp with it a couple of times and you'll know to be very careful. So practice really does pay off when you're stamping. This blueberry bushel is kind of hard to see through. Let's hope for the best, huh? Oh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. What a cute little focal panel. All right, now assembly. We are almost done. This is a quick one. Oh, you know what? I do have one more bit of stamping to do. Let me grab this scrap and memento. And then whatever color you like. We've got this little origami heart to stamp. I'm going to stick with traditional and go with lovely lipstick for my little heart. So basic black for the outline and lovely lipstick for inside. Nice. All right, clearing away the ink pads and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my snail adhesive here and we're gonna run it along the back of our Whisper White panel. I'm just gonna adhere that down to the card and it's off center, it's high of center. We wanna put it maybe half an inch down from the top. Then be your own kind of beautiful, our little sentiment tag here. We're gonna just cut the end with a little fancy angle cut. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. And we want to adhere this with enough room for our little origami heart. And just overlapping the edge of the Whisper White to the Sahara Sand. And trim off the excess. Now a quick bit of fussy cut in here for our little origami heart. I'll go straight across the top and then I'll cut out the little cleft. And they're straight lines, so this is pretty easy fussy cutting. Got some mini dimensionals. I'm going to grab a mini dimensional for the back of my little origami heart and embellish my card. How cute and quick is that? All right, there they are. Be your own kind of beautiful. If you've got any questions about joining Stampin' Up! or the Kitchenettes, if there's um, any questions about Stampin' Rewards, how to earn and redeem them, and if there's anything that I can do to help you stay crafty, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.